As many as five candidates have been readying themselves to contest the general elections in Belmopan. The incumbent is UDP's John Saldiva, whose name has been mired in scandal. Most recent is the Lev Dermin money laundering scam, for which Saldiva admittedly received tranches of money. But four hopefuls are seeking to unseat Saldiva and represent the country's capital in parliament. Running under the PUP banner is retired military officer Oscar Mira. Mira has been working in the constituency for years. It's a time of uh, a new era in politics in Maupan. Um, I don't come from any influential political background, but I'm here with my heart and giving it my all the same way I did um, patrolling the border for over 20 years um, in the BDF. I'm doing it because I believe, and I truly believe, that I'm here for the people. The campaign has been going excellent so far. I see it as, a, as an opportunity for myself um, to, to set myself apart from the rest. I am totally different. I have given years of service to my country. I have given years of service to my community here in Belfast. And I'm back now at another, in another capacity. There are three independent candidates that have thrown their hats in the ring. Patrick Menzies of the recently formed Belize Khan Conservative Party says he wants to become a member of parliament and has religion at the heart of his campaign. When the righteous govern or any authority, the people rejoice. But when the evil rule, the people mourn. How are the righteous ever going to govern if you don't give them a chance? And the other thing is, if you are hiring the thieves to watch the chicken cook, and you tell your Christian brother, no, no that's not for you. Let the thief watch the chicken coop. I am for a public private and diaspora partnership, PPDP, public, private, and diaspora partnership. That concept, what it will do, will be the bedrock of my and our administration. We want to get Belizeans abroad involved. Not just that. We're looking, I believe, in smaller government and a more robust private sector. The only female in the bunch is a former UDP Belmapan City Councilor who has decided to run independently. Anna Banagai feels that apart from being a woman going up against the men, she's bringing accountability and transparency, which the government desperately needs and the people are clamoring for. Looking at transparency, accountability, Belmopan voters are in dire need of a leader with integrity, with character, and we are sick and tired of corrupt leadership. And so we have seen where both political parties who have been leading this country have, have very high tolerance for corruption. And Belmopan is really getting tired and the tolerance for corruption here is getting very low. The fifth candidate who has expressed interest in running for the Belmopan division is attorney Otto Saldivar. But as we found out today, he's withdrawing for now. The Kamalota resident is counsel for the Belize Peace Movement that has a legal suit before the Supreme Court in respect of redistricting. He says he will not participate in an unconstitutional process. The intention is to run in Bamapan in 2020 um, in the general elections whenever those elections are constitutionally called. Uh, as you know, Duane, uh, there is a matter before the court presently. In fact, we go to court uh, next Wednesday, the 28th of October, to deal with an injunction as it relates to these very same elections that are being called presently. That injunction is by way of the claim brought by the Belize Peace Movement to have the Constitution be given its rightful place and ensure that we have constitutional elections across the country where our people are properly represented. In Bomapan, we have more than 8,000 electors, and there's only one polling station for all 8,000 electors for a constituency that spans miles. So it is not inconceivable that there will be many people who won't even make it to the polls because of the difficulty and the inconvenience of trying to vote under these conditions. So there can be no constitutional election in Bomapan. And Bomapan people will not have constitutional representation if an election is held in November, on November 20, 11, 2020. So instead of being a part of a situation that is going to be a fraud and a farce on the people, I will not subject my people and my supporters to that in terms of going through the process tomorrow. 
there will have to be some adjustments made, I believe, once the court has the matter and deals with the matter. Political machineries are fully oiled and all candidates believe that a change is coming to the capital. The sentiment is clear. Chancellor Lever needs to go. And, and if he hasn't done the honorable thing and resigned, then the people of Belmopan will have their say on the 11th of November. That is what we get on the ground. Voters are saying that they will make an effort to come out to the polls and to ensure that they cast their vote because they, they are saying that this is a change that they were looking for. This election isn't between Menzies and Mira and Anna and, and Saldiva. This election is between communism, socialism versus democracy and freedom and your private and personal rights and your religious liberties. That's what this election is about. It's between religious liberty, your personal freedoms, and socialism, dictatorship taught us by Dean Burrow, total dictatorship where a government changes the laws so it can abide by what they want to do. Despite attempts to speak with the incumbent, our calls went unanswered. Dwayne Moody for News 5.